two, part two. Let's see if our stream is coming back. It is, it is. Very nice, very nice. Okay. I found my beach rocks, some of them. So we're gonna wait. Let me turn on my camera again uh, while we wait for people to come back because we lost the stream. Let me turn this on and this on. Nice. <laughs> Unfortunately, we lost the stream on the first part of this. We're gonna stick this together in one shot, right? But if we lost the stream, we're gonna wait about five minutes uh, for people to roll in. Um, we had like, I don't know, I forget what it was, like 40 plus people watching it who got interrupted. We got interrupted. I did find my beach rocks though. I have a lot more lot more beach rocks as well here's some of my beach rocks but I when I take beach rocks because uh, uh, Fiona uh, well I will wait until nice will come it comes back we get confirmation until we get confirmation and good morning gang good morning good morning our stream got killed about 15 minutes in nice everybody coming back confirmation we're back shoot here nice gauging gadgets good morning good morning shoot here plays Knights of old comic right on Fiona's back and ready okay awesome now take a look at this here is I'll turn off my camera uh, as soon as we start looking at the uh, the other bigger rocks and stuff here is Oops, let me turn on my camera here. Oop. Look through the OBS, the timing. So here's some of my, just three of my beach rocks, right? But what I end up, hooray, Charles <laughs> says, welcome Fiona, welcome Fiona. Here's like three of my beach rocks that I have, right? I pick, I pick random ones, but I have a lot of other beach rocks that I've picked out through the years. And what I do with my beach rocks, I either use them as decorations on tables like just put a whole bunch of rocks together in a bowl like this and just let them sit there and you know people come over guests and you play with the beach rocks and i grab them and another thing i do with beach rocks is when i harvest them when i grab them from the beach i bring them home and i put them in my pots my house plants so i have a lot of rocks in my house plants <laughs> I don't know if you know for me i think it's good because they have lots of minerals when you water and maybe a little of the minerals go for the rocks and stuff like this but i i just think it looks beautiful okay diet thug chicho uh yoper light is senate uh senate rocks with large deposits of, of fluorescent soda soda literally in the rocks really it glows bright orange under uv and is found on the beaches of Lake Superior in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and Wisconsin. You know what? I do have some rocks that have. Oh, here, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me put this one aside. I got a feeling we're gonna have to do another live stream of these rocks later because there's no way we're gonna get through all of these. But let me show you these ones that you you just mentioned because these rocks I picked up in that area and they're really small and these things take a look and this is glows under UV light I believe right saying that rocks the stream rocks <laughs> and fluorescent etc yeah these are it I'm pretty sure that I thought take a look this vein that you see here and it's rare like these things are uh, sought after in terms of rock hunters right rock and mineral hunters okay that's gorgeous yes it's it was i was so happy to find this really right and then here's another one take a look i got the sun shining in my eyes so it's hard to focus on this now take a look I believe this is called satellite, like you said, right? And I picked it up in that area, in Ontario, near near the Great Lakes. 
just beautiful i love these they're little guys but i love them right you add uh trim light to all your plants cool you haven't seen anything like this yeah super cool and there's a green version of this mineral as well um i might have it i used to have it i think right take a look i love this thing super cool green in this wall called mint swirl and you can get it at dairy queen <laughs> smith next we'll call it chicho fiona wonders if the last sharp crystal well, uh, one was found uh, from magma or lava it would have been I'm pretty sure it's from a magma chamber okay I'm gonna put these guys here that way we know what we've looked at it's this one this one would have been from a magma chamber I'm pretty positive like really sharp really sharp really like if you were walking you fell on this uh, you would seriously hurt yourself okay seriously hurt yourself and this is this is quartz right the sharp stuff and this is the feldspar that uh we were showing where the stream got uh worse than a worse than a lego <laughs> worse than a lego the feldspars right that you find with uh, lots of uh igneous rocks see that and this is smooth by the way gang smoothish it would give you a very satisfying back scratch <laughs> right very satisfying back scratch i'm gonna turn off my camera again gang oh i gotta get above the sun turn off my camera again and we're gonna look at the crystals in their full glory without uh, my video being in the way infinity gem <laughs> you got <gasp> for warlock <laughs> i'm gonna snap my fingers and and uh, everybody comes back i'm gonna show you this guy too i love shale so here's a nice piece of shale that i picked up check this one out this is a nice piece of shale i love this thing look at the layers on that right And this one I picked up in Ontario. Ontario's got a lot of clay, a lot of shale, right? And shale is clay that becomes solid. And take a look at this thing. This one's loose. Should we cut this off? Should we take this off? There's nothing in there, so there's no fossil, so we won't. Okay. Oh, a little bit comes off. Take a look. This one came out of here. See this? Oh, this is getting loose too. This is getting loose too. I'm gonna to put this one back. Yeah, most of these I found myself. Right? Beautiful layered, fairly smooth. Okay. Secret compartment. <laughs> it fell up. Let's put it back. We'll keep it in there okay we'll keep it in there so that's a shell as well what else what else oh we've already looked at this one i'm going to move everything over here that we've looked at already that way and we've looked at these guys take a look at this thing take a look at this thing This one's super cool. Those are like little mini crystals, right? What a crazy universe this would be. Damn, I wonder if I could find anything like that in Europe where I live. Doubt it. I don't know. I don't know what the crystal mineral hunting is like in Europe. I'm pretty sure there's got to be some.
these gotta be quartz so this is i think the well i wouldn't say the smallest quartz crystals i have but defined wise triples <laughs> was was this like uh, a cave or where it was such a um, was this in a cave maybe I don't think no I haven't been uh, I've been inside caves for sure but I don't remember collecting any crystals from caves I might have I don't know super cool though i really like this one right and it's rough as you can tell with my fingers i've been playing around with these <laughs> with these crystals <laughs> like feeling them and when you feel them you know you're gonna your fingers are gonna get on the rough side right Ah, it belongs there. Well, a lot of caves have amazing, like some of the like biggest crystals you've ever seen in your life. Uh, you would have found in uh, caves, especially like coarse crystals. There's, if you do a search for coarse crystals, like there's pictures of coarse crystals that is that are big as a house inside caves that people have found. And the deeper you go, um. Uh, into the crust the bigger the crystals get because they cool slowly right here's another tourmaline oh this is the one that belongs to this guy probably is it no that's too big right 10 bucks for you if you use it to exfoliate next shower no <laughs> definitely not that would exfoliate way more than the exfoliation required that would take off your skin so this is tourmaline black tourmaline and i'm pretty sure this is green tourmaline right see that so you got black tourmaline here and you got green tourmaline here i believe it's called green term tourmaline two crystals right beside each other same structure different mineral composition right cool here's another felt spar this one's beautiful i love this this has got a greenish tint to it right and these felt spars have this structure this rhombohedron not rhombohedron um, I forget what the crystal structure is on it 3d and there's so much geometry in crystals so much geometry in crystals it's absolutely amazing look at that look at that beautiful and I believe this angle there is a 90 degree angle or 80 this angle here I think it's 88 or 87 degrees or something like this that's the crystal structure formation I forget what it is I exactly tetrahedron thank you very much is that what it is cheryl did they naturally have a sheen because of the structure or did you pull yeah no this is natural i don't have any minerals or crystals that have been shined this is like the actual crystal hasn't been shined okay and i found this in nature beautiful beautiful smooth just like these ones right it's the same thing but different color right same guy different color just different mineral composition right. oh i got a lot of little guys i'll show you the magnetite again because i love this thing i went around i knew i had magnetite and it's very difficult let me take a look at this 
right? So here's two rocks, two rocks that seem to be identical, right? Like they seem to be identical, almost identical. Right? Oh, my magnet stuck to the other. So they seem to be identical, right? Very much so, right? Check out this one. Nope. Right? This is a magnet that we have, right? No, not magnetic. A little bit, maybe. A little bit. Check out this one. <laughs> right? You can actually pick it up. Right? Pick it up. Right? So this is magnetite, strong magnetite. Right? This one, it's got a little bit of movement on it. Take a look. Later, I can feel it on my hand. Just the slightest. Maybe. Okay. But this one, boom. Right. See it. That it's magnetic. Yeah. Like this one. Let's see if we can make a little bit of movement on it. Like. Let's see. Oh, see it? Yeah, it works. Okay, so this one, I forget what the name for it is. If you attach a magnet to it, it takes on some of the magnetic properties and becomes magnetic slowly, but then it doesn't retain its magnetism, right? I forget what the name of these types of rocks is. It might be a sort of a pseudo magnetite, but the ones that retain their magnetics, right? That doesn't go away. It doesn't need an external magnetic force to keep it magnetic. It's called magnetite. So this one straight up magnetite. This one, you can keep a magnet there and it slowly becomes a little bit magnetic, right? And then I have three other ones that are magnetites, right? cool is it because of iron deposits or because of the structure it's because of both the iron deposits and the structure so um, I I used to know a lot more about these right because when, when you can find magnetite then there might be mineral deposits there that you can extract out like carbon and gold and silver and stuff like this right so that's what they use when you use magnetic surveys in geophysics and stuff, what you're doing is you're looking for uh, sort of minerals that appear with the resources, the gold or whatever that you're trying to extrapolate, right? Or get out. Check this one out. Here's another pyrite. Look at the little crystal. Look at the little perfect pie right there. See that guy? Cubic. We got the sun shining on the rocks right now. Look at all that beautiful pie right. Look at that. Beautiful structures, eh? Pyrite is very common, and that's why they used to call it uh, fool's gold. Cool. Let's put this with the other pyrite we have. Here's another igneous rock. You can see the felt spars in there, right? There's a rare, slightly magnetic rock only found in my area called Cumberlandite. Cumberlandite. That actually rings a bell. 
that's my PC fan. We got the sun shining right now uh, on the computer and on my face <laughs> and on the lens. <laughs> so the computer's going, oh, it's hot here. Love your rock. Thank you. X. The sun is perfect for this. Very cool. Let's do more. Let's do more. This one is super cool. This is the one I've showed. Uh, we showed in the previous one. Let me show you this one as well. Okay. Let me show you this one as well. My favorite crystal is illegal. Kebab says, right? So this thing fell apart. Let me bring out the. Show you this one i don't think i show you this one look at this one this one is sort of like one of the other rocks that we showed with the lid coming off right look at the weathering on this look at the weathering on this right see the layer so this the mineral in that layer is more resilient to the weathering than the one surrounding it right okay so weathered more weathered less weathered more weathered less weathered more weathered less right look at the weathering on top of that that's what call it chicho you can pick up 1943 pennies with a magnet they were made with zinc coated steel really Oh, so there must be worth something, Knights Wall Comic, yeah? What would be a total general estimate of when these were formed? Oh, it would be like, it varies. It varies a lot. Millions of years, right? The metamorphic rocks, like this is a sedimentary rock that has been, that's gone through metamorphosis and is it sedimentary it's clay so i believe it's a clay so it would have been deposited as a clay and then gone through metamorphosis and then weathered to this state so it would have gone through like three stages so we're talking millions of years long ago really long ago but check out these ones this crystal i forget what the name of this is this is super cool one of my favorites look at the crystal structure on this keep in mind we used to think that you couldn't make some of these crystals right like diamonds the, the price that people pay for diamonds is crazy because diamonds aren't that rare and right now we can make we can make diamonds fake diamonds zirconian right it still takes a little bit of time but nothing like in nature and a lot of uh, people you know that know their gems would have a hard time telling the difference between a zirconium and a real diamond uh, that formed in nature. Looks man made, doesn't it? Super cool, super cool. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange, indeed. Check this one out. This is all of these are the same, okay. Let's see if it's gonna focus. There we go. Look at the mineral deposits on that. Remember in the 80s, those grow your own crystals, kids. 
the geometry is insane there's so much geometry and uh, in minerals and crystals and stuff it's all geometry it's beautiful a lot of mathematics in this right a lot of mathematics like what defines crystals really is the geometry the mathematics of it all And there's a few other ones here. Some of these, these bigger pieces were all together and I washed it and it fell apart. Look at this. Look at this structure. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. That's crystal that popped out. Right? Let's see if we can get it focused. See that? That's a crystal that popped out, this one and that one. Price, I don't know. I don't know what price. Yes, at the top of the Washington Monument is a rock of aluminum, which was rarer than platinum in er early United States history, really. Now it's very common. Cool, cool. That, that I read about a place in Yorkshire, England, where you can leave teddy bears in the water for thirty three to five months and they petrify to stone due to the high PPM of mineral in the water. Really? That would be super cool. I'd run a business on that. Go buy teddy bears and sell them on eBay and petrify them in three months and sell them on eBay or Etsy and it's also among the most abundant substances in the crust but refining it is quite difficult wow wow what's the mineral called here's take a look look at that same crystals right Look up Julian Assange. He's a journalist and publisher that is trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. We have a Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist that you can check out. Very important, very important uh, person. one second look I think so same structure right wonder how long these samples you're showing took to grow I don't know the bigger the crystal the longer it took right I don't know how long would this take I don't know because what happens is the crystal structure of the mineral forms together and then slowly more come and attach to it. It's like a Lego building itself, right? So, good question, good question. Good question. Take a look at this. Oops, sorry about that. These are quartz and tourmaline. together you can see the striations of the terminal in here yeah. and then take a look at this thing this is the quartz right but there's striations on the quartz but the striation isn't on the quartz there used to be a big crystal of tourmaline that was here that this was attached to right so the tourmaline formed and then the quartz came in 
and glued it all together. All right? Here's another one. Take a look. That's a tourmaline crystal that popped out. All right? See the striations in there? That's not the quartz striations. That's the tourmaline. All right? But it's popped out. And again, it falls out, right? And here's uh, this part. These guys are feldspars, right? I believe so anyway. SiO2, yeah. Such a simple structure, so strong, so strong. Amazing properties to it. Chicho Fiona says that's says thanks for the great science class. See you next time. See you next time, Fiona. Thank you for popping in. Fiona, before you go, check out this one. Check out this one. Here's another one, which is absolutely beautiful. Look at the structure on this. Look at the structure on this. We'll call this one the last one we look at right now. Look at that. I don't know what this one's called. It's so trippy. Looks like some kind of fungus that's growing, but it's rock, some kind of mineral. And then the white stuff, I don't know what the white is on there. Yeah, miniature landscape indeed. Like these are quartz crystals, very jaggedy. These guys here, very jaggedy. Like it's ripping my fingers, the skin, right? But the dark, what is that? Look at that. What is that? Asteroid flying through the universe, maybe. Yeah, me too, Cheryl. Absolutely love this one. And I have no idea what it is. Look at the hole in there. Ooh, what kind of creature lives in there? You think it's wood? I don't know if it's, I don't think it's petrified wood. I don't think it's petrified wood. Chicho Fiona says parts of it look like the bottom of a mushroom. Yeah, indeed, right? fungus but what is it cool cool let me put this one here too so we don't have that much more that we need to take a look at we got a bunch here oh no i have a whole tray of little guys here take a look i got a, i got a tray of little guys that we can take a look and this one take a look at this one is a green feldspar too but we'll take a look at these another time game okay and here's oh look at this this is my garnet i believe i'll show you the garnet too why not look at this I think this is garnet. It's got to be garnet. Eat it. <laughs> when we emote about these things, our responses usually come from a brain determining if it's food. <laughs> this is super cool. I like this. Animal vegetable rock. Gang, I'm going to turn on my camera and apologies about losing the stream halfway through sort of uh, couldn't do anything about it okay we are one with nature indeed we are nature right will you talk uh, politics not today not today not today we keep politics on politics streams from now on or we started doing that a while ago 
<laughs> I know, I know. But we did. Uh, I'm doing an appearance on a show on Wednesday. Uh, they asked me to go on there and talk politics, econo economics. Um, I'm going to be on there. If you look at our Patreon page, our schedule is uh, set up. On Wednesday at 11 o'clock in the morning, we're doing a uh, sort of online uh, discussion with them. And I believe they said they usually have the video up the day of. So on Wednesday or latest by Thursday. So if you want to see a politics uh, discussion, the one we had yesterday, I'll have up in the next couple of days, two, three days. Uh, but on Wednesday, I'm going to be on their show talking politics and they'll have the video up either Wednesday or Thursday okay gang aside from that thank you very much for being here uh, i hope you enjoyed the display okay if you don't if you want to know what this is all about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o everything's layered on mathematics i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike my pleasure cheryl thank you for being here I'll create the history of politics. <laughs> it just happens to be so, right? Uh, for those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, gang, my appreciation for supporting this work, it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this. And I think the whole community appreciates it. So our thanks. Okay. We are live streaming on Twitch, gang. Twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live. C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. If you want to participate in these discussions live in the chat that's happening here, Twitch is where you want to be at. And for those of you who are following, subscribing, uh, using points, donating bits, for participating in the discussion and uh in our community thank you very much for being here and mods thank you very much for taking care of business i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on minds lo vk gap parlor when it comes back online and twitter and we do share additional information on those platforms as well and you can come to our uh, twitch page anytime you want and in the chat type in exclamation mark social and all the links will pop up including a link to our discord page where slowly our community is growing we got 700 plus people there sharing information talking and just lurking thank you very much uh late k9 late uh appreciate the link and gang pop, 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 pop. where are we where are we where is my intro for live streams where we don't have any visuals which we did today we will be uploading the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this live stream the first part and this part to both youtube bitchute rumble and odyssey those are the four platforms that we're active on right now, uploading our videos. May they be live streams or recorded. We started on YouTube 15 years ago, okay? And on BitChute about three years ago. And this year, at the beginning of 2021, we introduced Rumble and Odyssey. At some point, we're gonna take the thousand plus videos that we have on YouTube and upload them to the other three platforms as well, okay? And we'll see where that goes. If you're on those platforms, you can support the sport by liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. And if you're on YouTube, you can join YouTube membership. And there's a link there. And there's a handful of you that have joined YouTube membership uh, supporting this work. Thank you very much for the support, gang. Aside from that, everyone, we got a handful of videos here. Videos here. Rocks here. Rocks and minerals and crystals to take a look at. We'll take a look at them on another date. And what I'll do, I'll bring some of my partner's crystals that we've looked at in the previous mineral crystal video, the first one we put out, and take a look at them close up in this, in this guy right here. And they deserve a good close up look. Gang, I hope you have a fantastic Sunday and I'll see you in tomorrow's or Tuesday's live stream where we're gonna do mathematics, crystals. It's all about the mathematics, the geometry of it, right? 
Let's do a little mathematics on Tuesday if you can make it. Bye, everyone.